Hi, this is C.L. Brown, and I'm here with North Carolina State coach Kevin Keats. We're about to get into some ping pong action because Kevin Keats is a winner. Who's on, who on the team has beaten you? Before? Nobody. Nobody has ever beaten you? No. I lost one time Dang. to our um, nutritionist a long time ago, Jared, <laughs> and I really don't know. I think I was just hungry that day. When I was at Hargrave is when we decided that we had to play a lot because as you know, in military schools, there's not a lot of stuff going on, and so I became a really good, I became a really good ping pong player. A couple of my best battles was against A.W. Hamilton. Hmm. Was this kind of like a tool when you first got here to? Oh, good to, shot. Uh, That's thank true. You. Thank you. Say that again. Was this kind of a tool to inspire competition amongst your players when you first got here? Just so I thought it was important that we put uh, an icebreaker in here. I think it's competition but it gives those guys a chance to compete in a different way other than basketball. It's fun. Um, you know, I always look at basketball as a sport that everybody, no matter what sport you play, you think you can play basketball. Or in ping pong, you see this ping pong table, everybody doing some point is going to pick up a, a ping pong paddle and, and ball and try to play. Probably our worst player is probably Braxton Beverly because he doesn't try to play. Um, and I don't think he's very good. Yeah. You know, I'll go ahead and tell you because I know people are going to watch this. The best part of my game is I'm an incredible defender. You know, I defend everything. Most people say I'm not good offensively. I'm not as talented offensively. Was that how they described you as a player? No, as a player, I was very offensive minded until I got to college and my coach turned me into a defender. So I realized now I had to, that's the only way I could get on the floor. Who would you say is the biggest influence on your coaching style? So I, I started off, I was in um, high school and I was a uh, quarterback. And the guy, Coach John Walker, was one of my biggest inspiration. He was a great guy. Um, I learned a lot from him, patience. I learned, um, you know, how to do things the right way. And then, obviously, I got a chance um, between my time at um, Hargrave to go to Marshall University and work for Greg White, who was also a great guy, great energetic. Um, you know, he had a tremendous influence on me, still a good friend of mine. Uh, then I got a chance to go work for Coach Patino, who is obviously arguably one of the best in the country um, as a coach and motivator and learned a lot from him. Some of the pressing that, that we do is, is, is some of the things that we did at Louisville, but a lot of that came from Hargrave where I had, you know, 10 to 12 Division One guys and I had to play five guys and try to figure out how to get another five guys on the court. And so we would just go all out pressing mm -hmm. in order to play guys. So I've got a combination of both. Uh, what I learned from Coach Patino, just preparation, how hard you got to work every day, um, you know, how you got to push guys to be great and, you know, those type of things. See what I mean? See, guys, I just, oh, my goodness, there you go. I gave him a shot that I didn't think he could hit. And he where did. would you, speaking of, where would you say you get your competitive spirit from? God, man, probably, you know, probably from my mom and dad. And my mom and dad were not athletic people. They didn't play sports, but they're competitive and everything. But that's the way I grew up. Um, you know, I, I know everybody that's a little older will tell you these things. When you grow up and... Uh, most of the, the games that I played when I was coming up were, was outside on the playground, and it would be so packed out there. If you lose a game, you might as well get in your car and go somewhere else and play because you couldn't get back on the court for another hour and a half. And so it made you where you had to be competitive and be able to play, you know, um, and compete on every game. You know, I think our guys today, they do a good job competing, but there also is a great component of the fact that, um, and not AAU all the time because AAU is very good. But when you play at 11 o'clock and you lose a game and then you got another game at 11, yeah. um, 9 and 11, it, you, know, you don't get a chance to grieve. You don't get better in those situations. And so I think the mentality is a little bit different than when we came up. Um, that's not to say, because I'm a big fan of AAU and think it's some unbelievable coaches at that level. Just the structure of it sometimes, I think, you know, provides some of that. I want to say to anybody that can hear this, I, I think CL could be a very good ping pong player. Um, one of the better guys that I've played lately, um, even though I won the game 21-7, um, he it's really needs to work right on his here. backhand. Uh, if he can improve his backhand, I think he'll be really good. Thank you for tuning in. Click on clbrownhoops.com for more coverage of NC State basketball and the ACC 
And please click on the like and subscribe button on CL Brown Hoops YouTube channel.